Dear children, your doubts have been solved in this video. Some of you have doubts in question number 4 of miscellaneous exercise on chapter 4. So let's see how to solve this question. If ABC are real numbers and we've been given the discriminant has value equal to 0, show that either A plus B plus C is 0 or A equal to B equal to C. So we begin our answer with this discriminant. We simplify its entries and then we equate, we also equate it to 0 at the same time. So let's note down the determinant, entries of the determinant here. Uh, we have done a similar type of determinant before also in 4.2. As you can see, this determinant is a determinant of a symmetric matrix. Let me make out symmetric matrix. The first row entry is the same as first column entry. Second row entry is the same as second column entry. And third row entry is the same as third column entries. So it's a determinant of skew symmetric matrix. Now we can uh, first apply uh, either column operation or row operation because it is, a, it is a determinant of a symmetric matrix. So either way the sum will come same. So either you add column wise or you add row wise. So we apply applying column wise or row wise whichever way, whichever way you start with. Because total of each column and if you add all the columns the total is same. And even you can proceed by adding all the rows. Total of all the rows is also same. So applying column 1 plus column 2 plus column 3 and we'll put the sum in column 1. This way we get the entire column 1 as 2 times A plus B plus C. You can check for yourself. The sum of all the three columns is same. After doing this step, remaining two columns we noted down as it is. So next we take two, ta uh, two times A plus B plus C common outside the determinant from the column 1. So in the column 1 we have throughout 1. And the remaining two row columns again we note copy it down as it is. So this is what we get. And if you see we have to prove here either A plus B plus C is 0 or A, B, C all three are equal to each other. So when we solve this thing 2 times A plus B plus C into determinant is equal to 0. One other result we have already obtained. Product of these two is 0 implies A plus B plus C is 0. So one of the results of the question is already done. The remaining part of the result that we have to show that A, B, C are equal we will be doing now. So we will try create zeros along column 1. On creating zeros along column 1 like this row 2 minus row 1 and applying row 3 minus row 1 we get along the column 1 we can get any two zeros. So I have created zeros here. So let's see. We have to create two zeros in column 1. So we've got 0 here. We've got B minus C. C minus A. Last also we do the same approach. R3 minus R1. So we have 1 0 here. B plus C minus. So we get this as B minus A. C minus B. So after getting the zeros, two zeros along column 1, we will expand along column 1 as usual. So expanding along column 1, we get, then add on expanding along column 1, we get entire column 1 along expand kia. So delete the first row and the first column. We get cross multiply the product of the off diagonal elements B minus, B minus C into C minus B minus C minus A into B minus A. So after doing this much, equal to 0. Now we can open the brackets and see, let's see what will we get. So after this step, we are going to solve the bracket. Product of these two is 0. So either A plus B plus C is 0. Or after solving this expression within the bracket, this will also be equated to 0. So BC minus C square. So we open the bracket. Minus B square plus CB. You can check for yourself. Minus CB plus AB. So after solving the brackets, these are the terms we get. Plus CA minus A square equal to 0. So we've equated both the factors on the left hand side to 0. That is 2. You understand 2. So right hand is 0. So A plus B plus C is 0 or this whole expression is 0. Now this expression which we have here, we can simplify it more 
to get to an answer because if you remember in this question we had to prove uh, either a plus b plus c is zero or a b c both three all three are equal. So from this expression or from this equation we can prove a b c three a b c all are equal to each other. How do we do that? Let's see. Are there any terms getting cancelled from here? If you can see that minus c b plus b c getting cancelled. Anything else we can see being cancelled? No. So we note them down as it is. So ये तो as it is रहेगा इसमें हमें कोई changes नहीं करने. वो तो result आ ही गया. We've already got we've already got one result of the answer. The other part of the answer that we have to still get is minus a square minus b square minus c square. So we note down we note down all these terms and we'll do a bit more simplification to get our second part of the answer, which is a, b, c, all three should be equal. अब ये ये all these terms here. The six terms here on the left hand side. Uh, we can make these three positive first by taking minus common. C square plus b square plus c square minus a b minus b c minus c a equal to zero. Next step. Uh, it's an important step which we're going to do now. So note this step. Very important step it is. What is the importance in this step is that we're going to multiply by two and divide by two. In the whole expression, we're going to multiply and divide by two. Why are we doing such uh, this step is because after a while you understand in the next step or after the next two next step you understand that these six terms will come out in the factor form. Factor form मतलब you understand the factor form like in the right now they are not in the factor form. So we can to make to factorize these we are going to multiply by two and divide by two. Divide by two this way क्या है because we have to adjust the multiplication by two that we have done. So basically, we need all these terms to be twice. We need these terms to be twice so that we can put this whole expression in the factor format. Let's see how do we do that. Minus half bar bracket k and the two we can bring inside the bracket. So two a square plus two b square plus two c square minus two a b minus two b c minus two c a equal to zero. Next, what we can do is uh, these all these terms here. Two a square we can break up and write as a square and a k square इसके नीचे लिख देते हैं चलिए अब similarly b square के साथ ऐसे ही करेंगे a square plus b square तो two b square को we can break it down and write it like this one below the other a square b square plus b square is two b square likewise we do the same thing for two c square and minus two a b let's see minus two a b हमने क्या करना है minus two b we are going to write down over here as it is and two b c Minus two c. So, which expression जो है ना इस तरह लिख लिया हमने, so that you can easily identify. यहाँ पे कुछ ना कुछ identity हमारे use होने वाली है. ये देखिए a square का is a square plus b square minus two ab कितना हुआ? So a square plus b square minus two ab. Can you recall an identity based on this? A square minus two ab plus b square. Now you can recall it is a minus b whole square. So we can write down a square plus b square minus two ab as a minus b whole square. Likewise, b square minus two bc plus c square we can write down as these three terms again at the same identity format b minus c whole square. So you can just see all these terms as uh, are coming in the form of this identity, and rest of the terms which are left are b square plus c square minus two. Uh, a square plus b square minus two ab is a minus b whole square. B square plus c square minus two bc is b minus c whole square. And what all terms are left? So b square plus b square to use हो चुका है. There will be b square. A square is being used, and one c square is being used. So what all the terms? What all terms are remaining now? A square plus c square minus two ac. What is a square plus c square minus two ac? It is c minus a whole square. So as you can see, all these terms that we had, six terms, they have been factorized like this. Some of the three factors you can say, some of the factors form the square, whole square kit terms. Right? We've written all the six terms above in terms of some of the complete squares. Now we can say that these all three, because if the result is equal to the left hand side is equal to zero, minus half you can shift on the other side. What is left? A minus B whole square. Plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square is zero. Some of the squares of these numbers is zero. 
When is the sum of the squares of the three numbers zero? If all of them is zero, each one of them is zero, then the sum of their square is zero. That's the thing. Because square of anything is either more than or equal to zero. So the square, yeah, the minimum value of a square is zero. So the sum of these three squares will be zero if and only if each one of them is zero. Each one of the square is zero. Then the sum of their square is zero. That means a minus b whole square is zero. So a minus b b zero will be. Likewise, b minus c is zero. Likewise, c minus a is zero. That implies a is equal to b. Equation solve करो आप b is equal to c. C is equal to a. So have we got a result? The second part of the result was a is equal to b is equal to c. We've got it. The second part of the question is also over. So let's see. We've already proved both the parts to be true. One of them either a plus b plus c is zero or a equal to b equal to c. So that's the answer. End of the answer of this question. This question, question number seventeen. Now, so people, some people have doubt in it. If A, B, C, I, and A, P, then the determinant is to find the value of this determinant. We will be using the fact that A, B, C, R, and A, P, as we have done in the eleventh standard. If three numbers are in A, P, that means difference between the three terms, consecutive terms, is constant. This B minus A is equal to C minus B. So B minus A. Same as C minus B, so that's what the definition of A P is. So B minus A is equal to C minus B. That implies minus B. You can shift on the other side, on the left side. So B plus B and minus A you can bring on the right hand side. So A plus C. So we get this result. Two B is equal to A plus C. We have also done this result in eleven standard. So we will use this result in the while simplifying the determinant entries. Let's see how do we do it. First of all, the determinant entries as we closely see them. Uh, do we find two B anywhere in the determinant entries? Two B, yes, two B is here. So we can replace this two B by A plus C. So in the determinant, we will write down in place of two B, we will write down A plus C. That's what we are doing in third. In, in this, is, this is two B in the second row. So in place of two B, we are writing down A plus C. And the remaining entries, as it is, no changes. Now, what what we can uh, do after writing two b as a plus c, anything else we can do with this determinant? We have to find out the value of this determinant, and uh, to see that out of these four options, which one is it equal to? There are so many x's over here, so they can uh, be simplified further. Uh, it's two uh, c, two a, x plus x. So when you add these two, row one and row three entries, two x plus two a plus c, two x plus two a, two times two common a plus c. When you add these two, you get two x plus eight. So when you add the row one and row three entries, you find that the row three entries would look like this. So adding the row three entries to the corresponding entries of row one. You will find row three entries will become two x plus six, two x plus ten, and two x plus two times c plus a. Two common ले लेते हैं. Check कर लीजिए. We have added the row three entries to with row one entries. Two x plus six, two x plus eight. It should be two x plus eight. It's not. It should not be two x plus ten. Two x plus eight. Then two x plus two times c plus a. So the row three entries have got have become like this. Two is a common factor throughout in the row three. I mean, row one, row two ke entries nahi likhiye. They will be as it is. There won't be any changes to it. So after uh, writing the row one, row two entries as it is, similar, the same. Row three entries, you can see the operation has been done in row three entries. Two is a common factor in the row three. Two, if you take outside outside the determinant from the row three, what do we get? Two taken outside, we get row one, row two entries same. Row three entries ke ho jayenge. Just closely see the row three entries will be like this. Uh, C plus A or A plus C is the same thing. So what do we get? Row three entries are these, and row two entries are also equal to the identical to the entries of row three. Remember the property of determinant. Row two and row one entries are seen. Note कर लेते हैं. So row three entries में से two common लिया हमने बाहर तो row three entries जो आप determinant के अंदर हैं, they are identical to the entries of row two. So the value of the determinant is zero. 
if two rows are identical in a determinant one of the properties is there if two rows are same the value of the determinant is zero so the answer is option a now this question number 18th also some children have doubt in it so let's do this one you have to find the inverse of this matrix if x y z are non zero real numbers how do we find the inverse of a matrix the formula is adjoint of the matrix upon determinant of the matrix so let's say if a is here the matrix is adjoint upon determinant will give you the inverse of the matrix iska pehle determinant nikal lete hain because inverse of a matrix exists if and only if determinant is non zero so a is a non singular hota hai to aap you may recall this a inverse exists if matrix a is non singular in other words determinant is non zero Let's determinant यहाँ पे कितना आता है लेट्स एक्सपैंड अलॉन्ग रो वन एक्स वाई जेड बाकी एंट्रीज तो रो वन की जीरोज हैं जीरो हैं सो एक्स वाई जेड इज वॉट वी गेट द डिटर्मिनेंट एस एंड एज एक्स वाई जेड आर नॉन जीरो सो दे प्रोडक्ट विल ऑल्सो भी नॉन जीरो क्लियरली एक्स वाई जेड नॉन जीरो दिए तो उनका प्रोडक्ट भी नॉन जीरो होगा ऑब्वियसली सो डिटर्मिनेंट इज नॉन जीरो दैट मीन्स ए इज नॉन सिंगुलर सो ए इनवर्स एक्सिस इनवर्स एक्सिस करता है अब हमें एड ज्वाइंट निकालना है लेट्स फाइंड आउट दी एड ज्वाइंट How do we find the adjoint of a square matrix by taking the transpose of the matrix containing the cofactors of each and every element of matrix A? So matrix A के elements और cofactors निकालिए. Let's find out the cofactors of each and every element. First element का निकालते हैं cofactor कितना आता है? Y Z. Even position में positive रहेगा. Second element of the first row का cofactor निकालते हैं तो कितना आता है? Zero. Third element का cofactor वो भी zero. Likewise, second row first column element ka cofactor will be zero. Second row second column element ka cofactor kitna hai ka x z because even position is negative positive raega. Second row third column ka kya cofactor aega? Remember how to find the cofactors. Second row third column ka cofactor hoga uh, zero again. Third row first column ka cofactor hoga zero. Third row second column ka cofactor be zero. ऑटोमेटिकली यू फाइंड ओनली डायगनल एंट्रीज थर्ड रो थर्ड कॉलम का को फैक्टर ओनली डायगनल एंट्रीज आएंगी नॉन डायगनल एंट्रीज सब जीरो रहेंगी बिकॉज दिस मैट्रिक्स ए वॉज अ डायगनल मैट्रिक्स यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज अ डायगनल मैट्रिक्स अ मैट्रिक्स हुज डायगनल एंट्रीज आर नॉन जीरो एंड नॉन डायगनल नॉन डायगनल एंट्रीज आर जीरो सो यहाँ पे नॉन डायगनल एंट्रीज जीरो रहेंगी एड की भी और डायगनल एंट्रीज नॉन जीरो रहेंगी ओके वी गॉट दी अज्वाइंट नहीं हुआ अभी पहले कभी हमें ट्रांसपोर्स देना बाकी है बट ट्रांसपोर्स तो सेम ही आने वाला है Transpose is going to come same now, as it is a diagonal matrix. There won't be any change in the transpose. So adjoint is done. Ah, chuka. Ah, we need to find the inverse. We need to find. Let's find the inverse. Adjoint is upon determinant of a. Upon determinant of a. So this is one upon determinant of a adjoint. So we get the inverse as this. Let's see out of the options that we have. Which one? Options book me diye hue hain. Note down the options are. इससे मैच करता है थोड़ा सिंप्लीफाई कर लेते हैं इसको ये वाई जेड लेस्ट मल्टीप्लाई ईच एंड एवरी बिकॉज यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस मैट्रिक्स बाय दिस रियल नंबर सो इस रियल नंबर से यू अंडरस्टैंड आपने किया हुआ चैप्टर थ्री में ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय दिस स्केलर किया हुआ स्केलर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स सो वन अपॉन एक्स वाई जेड इन टू वाई जेड कितना हो जाएगा वन अपॉन एक्स वाई जेड वाई जेड कैंसिल हो जाएगा वन अपॉन एक्स विल बी लेफ्ट Remaining two entries of the first row zero. Likewise, in the second row zero, x z into this x will cancel out, z will cancel out. We will be left with one upon y. Likewise, zero into this zero. Third row me kya aega zero multiply this zero. Yeah, the zero hi rahega. X y upon x y z kitna hoga one upon z. So if we see if we compare answer with the op options given in the question, what are the answer? Which one? Which answer does it tally to? Let's see the. Answer is tally is two. Okay, we have this as A B C D. में से किससे tally कर रहा है? We can clearly make out हमारा answer जिससे tally कर रहा है. ये one upon x, one upon y, one upon z पर सकते हैं हम. X is two power minus one, y is two power minus one, z is two power minus one. और कोई है? Just see only one A option हमारा tally कर रहा है. बाकी नहीं है कोई भी. One out of the four only will tally. So we can clearly see option A is the answer. Because one upon x can be said to have x raised to power minus one, one upon y you can add on as y raised to power minus one, and one upon z is z raised to power minus one. So this is the option A, which is tallying with the answer. That's the right answer. Okay, next question now.
This matrix A in question number 19 is given as a, as a matrix with entries. Some of the entries are trigonometric. Sine theta is are there. Where theta is between in this range 0 to 2 pi. Then what is the determinant of A equal to? Out of the four options, determinant of A ki value kis interval mein aati hai, 0 aati hai. Just check it out. Determinant of A nikalna hai. So the determinant of A nikalne ke less side on the entries of this matrix is within the determinant. And if you can simplify the determinant, you simplify it, otherwise you expand it directly. Let's find out, because in the option we have to find the value of the determinant. So let's simplify the determinant now, evaluate it then. Uh, 1 minus 1, 0, sin theta minus sin theta, 0. So it can be add row 1 and row 3 entries, because that way you will have easily two zeros in row 1 or row 3, where you have operation perform karna hai. So I am performing the operation row 3, and to the row 3 entries we are adding row 1 entries. You can do the... Uh, that way also row 1 may changes kar lo, row 1 plus row 3 kar do, whichever you, row you want to put the result in. So 1, you know, basically you want to create two zeros, oh, basically you want to create zeros, maximum zeros before expanding. So as we add row 3 and row 1 entries, you can see maximum zeros are created, minus 1 plus 1, 0, minus n theta plus n theta, 0, 1 plus 1, 2. So that entries of the determinant are more simplified as we have got two zeros along row 3, we can expand along row 3. So on expanding along row 3, what do we get? Delete the row and the column is 2 lies. So 2 times 1 of product of diagonal elements minus product of off diagonal elements. This is what we get. Further, we have been given the range of sine theta in the question. Note it down. Sine theta ki range dv. Theta ki range ds is to 2 pi. Okay, the range of theta is given here between 0 and 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi, my graph is of the sine ka. You remember? Graph of sine we have done. Uh, pi and then 3 pi by 2 and then 2 pi. So it's like this. 1 pi 3 pi by 2 minus 1, 2 pi by 0. So the graph of sine, as you can see, it's not a very fair graph, rough graph. Ab 11 the kia hoa sine ki pi by 2 ka value 1 hoti to make it... Uh, just we can want to say in this question that 0 to 2 pi ke beech mein sin ki range kya hoti hai. Maximum value sin ki kab aati hai? Pi by 2 pe 1 aati hai. Or 3 pi by 2 pe value kya aati hai? Minus 1. So the way if theta is between 0 to 2 pi, sin theta ki value kaan se kaan tak aegi? Maximum value sin theta ki aati hai 1. Minimum value is minus 1. Graphically or otherwise you also you can make out. Sin ki maximum value 1 hoti hai, minimum value minus 1 hoti hai. You have done this in 11 standard. So, if sin square theta ka kya result aega? What will be the result of sin square theta? Because it's a square, the, res, the, uh, the values can never be negative. So, the sin square theta will never be negative. The minimum value of sin square theta kya sakti hai? Zero. Maximum the one hi raegi? Square kya humne throughout. Mein square karte hai because square karenge the negative values won't come in the square of sin. Sin ki minimum value minus an hoti hai. But sin square ki minimum value kya hogi? Zero. And maximum value one. So, अभी हमारे determinant की value कितनी आई थी? जैसे remember determinant कितना आया था? ये आया था। This is the determinant that we have got. Two times one plus sine square theta, and we know sine square theta is between zero and one. The value of sine square theta, minimum value is zero and maximum value is one. So if sine square theta lies between zero and one, what will happen to one plus sine square theta? Add one throughout. Add one in this inequality throughout. So one add किया तो one plus zero one हो गया. One plus sine square theta. Less than or equal to 2. So we have added 1 throughout in the above inequality. After adding 1, we get 1 here on the in place of 0 and 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, so 1 plus sin square theta lies between 1 and 2. 1 plus sin square theta lies between 1 and 2. Bar bracket mein 2 times v hai. Hold 2 times. So 2 times karenge to kya ajaya ka result? Hold 2 times kya to what will we get? 2 times kya to result ki ajaya ka? 2 into 1. So aapka to result hai determinant ka. Wo kis ki bich mein hai? 2 or 4 ki bich mein. Just check. Determinant ki value aari hai 2 or 4 ke bich mein. The value determinant is between 2 and 4. That's what we have got. Between 2 and 4. So let's see out of these uh, uh, answers. Which is the right answer? Determinant ki value aari hai between 2 times 1 plus sin square theta is coming between 2 and 4. So the value determinant is lying between 2 and 4. This is lying between 2 and 4. Out of these options, 2 and 4, 2 and 4, ye open interval is, 2 and 4 included, this is not, 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 this is not
between two ends. This is option D is the right answer.